Plasmic lets you use data from anywhere and deploy your projects wherever you want. In this video, I'll show you how to use data from WordPress in your Plasmic applications. First, import the WordPress REST fetcher into your Plasmic project. We get an option to update the settings to point to a WordPress website URL. If you want to do that, you can put in your custom URL here, but I'll stick with TechCrunch. Close this. With the WordPress fetcher selected, in the right panel, let's tell it to fetch blog posts from the WordPress site. So I can click on the query type and select posts. The fetcher shows the data in a list. So here we have 10 items coming from our WordPress URL and for each of them, we can render the data using the WordPress field components. Let's set this field to display the post title. Select the field, set this to show the title of the posts and we see uh, different titles of the posts showing up. Let's add another field. We will add a WordPress field component, which is this one. And for this particular field, let's display the date. And that looks good. Uh, the next thing I want to do is maybe just use uh, a button, for instance, just a regular component. So I can add a button here and let me change this to a soft blue button. Yeah, it looks better. Great. Uh, so now we're pulling in all the data we want from our WordPress URL. Uh, but this looks a little bit weird. So let me let me quickly make it better. Yeah, and I think this is looking good. Uh, well, much better than what we had before. So uh, let me also get rid of this. And let's uh, write something else here. Uh, great, this is looking more like what we want. And that's it. That's how you uh, pull in data from your WordPress URL into your Plasmic applications. The REST uh, fetcher can get posts and pages, but for other types of data from WordPress, we have a WordPress GraphQL data fetcher that gives you more flexibility. So let's add uh, and, and use it in this project. So let's go back to the component store and uh, fetch the WordPress GraphQL uh, fetcher, which is this one. And once again, uh, we get a prompt to specify the URL, the WordPress URL where we want to fetch this data from. So I'll stick with this, but feel free to uh, use your own URL if you want to. Now, uh, when the WordPress fetcher is selected, we get the query prop showing up uh, on the right panel. So if we click into that, we get the GraphQL Explorer uh, showing up for us to construct the query that we want to fetch uh, from this schema. So I want to fetch the tags. Uh, so I'll select tags and the edges and for each of the edges, the nodes. And I want to get the name of the tag I want to get the ID of the tag, maybe the description, uh, also maybe the count. Uh, basically, you can construct this query however you want. So if I run this query, I will see the response show up here to give you kind of like an idea of what the response looks like. Uh, so if I save this, we can now use uh, dynamic values to reference the data that we fetched inside of this project. So what I can do is um, I can add a text field here. And that way, uh, the text field has access to all the data that the WordPress uh, GraphQL fetcher has fetched. So let me repeat this element with respect to the tags that we fetched, and there's 10 of them. So I'll save this. And once again, we see all of these uh, repetitions happening. So for this, I can display the description of the tag, for instance. So I'll use dynamic values and set it to the current item, to the node, and to the description of the tag. And once again, we are seeing uh, our data show up from the WordPress GraphQL fetcher. And this is it, right? Uh, these are the different ways you can pull in data from your WordPress URL into Plasmic. Let me know what you think about this, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments. See you in the next one.